o'clock, a new push to reduce plastic pollution in Texas. The latest target, styrofoam containers. It comes after a push to get rid of plastic bags. And as other major cities, uh, other cities and major brands ban plastic straws. Kegsansville Prison takes an in-depth look at a battle coming to the state capitol. Stop, slow down. We know we shouldn't do it, but too many people still throw their styrofoam cups and containers on the ground. Uh, the foam cups take basically hundreds of years to fully break down. Luke Metzger from Environment Texas says they don't biodegrade either. And that's just a huge amount of waste. Instead, they become microplastics, small pieces that kill wildlife after they eat them. Ultimately, we, we need to move away from this throwaway culture um, that we use a product for five minutes and then it pollutes our environment for hundreds of years. We can't sustain that any further. Step one for Metzger is to put pressure on local businesses. Their first target, Thundercloud Subs, which still uses styrofoam cups. They're a local company that they expect to do better. The environmental groups will hold a press conference Wednesday outside the corporate office. I reached out to the company for an interview. A spokesperson declined that request, but said that they were phasing out all of their styrofoam by the end of the year. Step two for Environment Texas is to overturn a Texas law that prevents cities from banning styrofoam, something Austin would do if it could. Let's let people make the decisions, not government. James Quintero from the Texas Public Policy Foundation expects expects this to be a big fight for lawmakers next year. He's on the other side. This is an individual's choice, and it really gets to the heart of kind of a consumer choice and whether or not we have the freedom to make intelligent decisions when we go and buy products. It's a statewide fight that will begin Wednesday outside a local sandwich shop. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. The law that they want to overturn is a common foe for environmental groups and it plays a role in the current legal battle over Austin's plastic bag ban. It involves a section of Texas Health and Safety Code which says local governments may not restrict the sale or use of a container or package for solid waste management purposes. Many bag bans are in legal limbo waiting for the Texas Supreme Court to decide if bags are containers or packages and whether cities can ban them for anything other than solid waste management purposes. Americans use an estimated 500 million drinking straws every day. Nationwide, more cities and some companies are ditching them. They are banned in Seattle, Fort Myers, Florida, and on the beachfront in Miami Beach. Malibu also voted to stop restaurants from handing them out, along with plastic utensils and stirrers. Even though McDonald's shareholders recently voted against doing away with plastic straws, some locations in Europe are testing paper straws and moving them behind the counter.